Okay, good morning everyone, this is Mr. Schenkel, and in this video I'm going to be talking about the blue spelling group words. At the top of your page it should say blue spelling group, and then it should say week two. The digraph er uh, making the sound er uh, as in fur. Your first word for this week should be blur. Please double check that you have the right sheet and the right video. Okay. So, this week's focus sound is the digraph you are, making the sound er uh, as in fur. Remember that a digraph is when two letters work together to make just one sound. So, in all of our words this week, if you have the letters u and r, they should go together in the same square. Okay, so our first word today is the word blur. First step that we have to do with the word blur is to say the word. Can you please say blur? Good job. The next thing that we need to do is to write the word down. I'm going to write it here. Can you write the word blur? B L U R. Blur. Now that we have written the word, we need to count the sounds in it. I would like you to count using your fingers, putting up a finger each time you hear a sound. B, bl, uh, blur. How many fingers do you have up right now? I have three. So I'm going to write the number three into this square. And the next step is to write each sound into its own square. The first sound is B, being made by the letter B, then L, being made by the letter L. The last sound is our focus sound this week, which is the digraph er, uh, being made by the letters U, R. B, L, er. Uh. You can see here that we counted three sounds. Make that a bit bigger, I think. We counted three sounds and we have one, two, three squares used. So that means we have the right number. Okay, the last part is to put our tricky part into this square at the end. I think that er is the hardest part of this word because it's a digraph. So you are is going into that last square. Okay, now that we've finished with the word blue, we're going to move on to our next word, which is Saturday. Say Saturday. Good job. Saturday is one of the days of the week. It's the first day of the weekend. Saturday. Okay, let's count the sounds in Saturday. S-a-t-a. How many fingers do you have up right now? This was a long word, so we might try it again. S -a -t -a -d -a. I have six fingers up right now. The sounds in Saturday are s -a -t -a -d -a. six sounds. Now it's time for us to spell this word out. S a T U R D A Y. Notice that the U and the R were said together, and the A and the Y were said together because they're both digraphs, where two letters work together to make one sound. Your turn. Good job. The next word is burn. Say burn. Well done. If you touch something very hot, you might get a burn. Let's count the sounds in burn. B, uh, n. Three sounds. The sounds in burn are b, uh, n. Now it's time for us to spell this word out. B, u, r. N. Your turn. Well done. 
The next word is Thursday. Say Thursday. Okay. Thursday is another day of the week. The days of the week when we're at school go Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. This is Thursday. Okay, time for us to count the sounds in the word Thursday. Th, uh, s, d, a. How many fingers do you have up right now? Th, uh, s, d, a. You should have five fingers up right now. The sounds in Thursday are th, uh, s, d, a. Now it's time for us to spell this word out. T H U R S D A Y. Your turn. Well done. Your next word is turnip. Say turnip. A turnip is a kind of plant which is sometimes used in soups and also in pasties that you might get from the bakery. Turnip. This, let's count the sounds in turnip. T, uh, n, i, p. How many sounds did you count? I counted five. The sounds in turnip are t, uh, n, i, p. Five sounds. Now it's time to spell this word out. T, U, R, N, I, P. Your turn. Good job. Okay, our next word is purse. Say purse. Good job. A purse is a kind of small bag that many women carry around. This might be where they put their phone or their wallet. Purse. Let's count the sounds in purse. P, uh, s. Three sounds. The sounds in purse are p, uh, s. Now it's time to spell this word out. P, U, R. S E. Your turn. Well done. The next word is purple. My mum owns a purple purse. Purple is a colour. Let's count out the sounds in purple. P, uh, p, l. How many fingers do you have up right now? I have four. The sounds in purple are p, uh, p, l. Four sounds. Now it's time to spell this word out. P, U, R, P, L, E. Four sounds. The next word is return. Can you say return? Good job. One thing that will always return, if you do it right, is a boomerang. When you throw a boomerang, it will spin around in the air and come back to you. We can say that this boomerang returns. Return. Let's count the sounds in return. R, E, T, U, M. How many fingers do you have up right now? I have five. The sounds in return are r, e, t, u, n. Five sounds. Now it's time to spell this word out. R, e, t, u, r, n. Your turn. Well done. The next word is burst. Can you say burst? 
Good job. A burst is kind of like a big splash or a bang. When you pop a balloon, it will burst. Burst. Okay. The sounds in burst, let's count them out. B. B. S. T. How many fingers do you have up right now? I have four. The sounds in burst are B. Uh, s, t, four sounds. Now it's time to spell this word out. B, U, R, S, T. Your turn. Good job. Our last word for the blue group is church. Say church. Well done. Church is a place that many religious people will meet up to speak about their God. Church. Let's count out the sounds in church now. Ch, uh, ch. Three sounds. The sounds in church are ch, uh, ch. This word has the same digraph appearing twice. Ch. This actually makes it quite easy to spell if you know what the digraphs in this word are. Now that we've gone through all of our words for this week, I hope that you do a really good job on finishing these off by yourself. Best of luck.